Howdy folks, and welcome to another edition of the weekly comic book snap. Brought to you here, as always, from the wonderful Frog Ross Comics and Books. Um, we have, uh, it's just the two of us today special, just the two of it us. Is. Back to the rusty uh, old nuts or whatever it's called. <laughs> <laughs> like it. Um, so yeah, uh, these are books from the, um, oh damn, damn these dates. What are the dates? It's the week of the uh, the, 12th the 12th of July. July, 2017. Um, 2017. There the we year are. year of our Lord. <laughs> 2017. <laughs> so yeah, 12th of July, four books. Um, and what a selection we have for you today, let me tell you. What you got for a special, where are we starting? Well, with the, the Spider-Man book last week. Yes. And again, anybody would think there was a movie coming out, come and buy Spider-Man stuff, we've got loads of it. <laughs> and yep. we have Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2. Yes, yeah, Spider-Man 2, 1. Issue 1 of Spider-Man 2. Marginally so, confusing. A little bit. It's the uh, the crossover that they um, they said wasn't ever going to happen. Going back on their word, I see. Well, uh, I did some chap at Marvel once said that um, if this ever happened, the um, the Ultimate Universe and uh, the regular universe crossed over, then they had officially run out of ideas. And um, oh dear. Sp <laughs> Spider Man <laughs> happened, and he backtracked and went, "No, it's an amazing yeah. idea." That doesn't bode well, does it? Uh, but the, the, the original Spider-Man was actually very good. <coughs> Okie dokie, and, missed um, that one, I have to say. Yeah, um, it's Miles Morales coming yep. into the, the, the 616 where he now lives, but they're meeting up again. Yeah. Uh, within this book, there are two Miles Moraleses, without giving too much away. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I've got to say, I really, really, really liked it. You enjoyed it? I did, massively. Well, I. Uh, I love the, the dynamic between uh, Miles and Peter. That was enjoyable, I have to say. Um, and you get dropped straight in there, into the action there. They're upside down, tied up, <laughs> which isn't going to really bother them that much because they spend yeah. a lot of time upside down. Yeah, I think. Well, I think the tied up part was the, the tied the really up, yeah, yeah. The absolutely. In that. Yeah, and um, then they are seeing the uh, as yet unnamed foe. Yes. Cruising off down a, uh, a runway in a jet. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm not going to say any more, other than I well, you said really, it up beautifully. really liked it. Yeah. I think the artwork is amazing. Yeah, it's very good. Uh, so that... well done to Sara Picelli. Oh, Picelli. Oh, Picelli, who's been working on the Miles Morales book, the Spider Man. Of course. Uh, until recently. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I loved everything about it, I've got yeah. to say. I really, really enjoyed it. And um, some of the, the more recent Spider-Man stuff has felt like it's just been kicked out because the movie's mm. there. Okay. This, I think, um, has a feel that there's a, there's a real story there. Yeah. And um, I, I want to know a lot more. Want to know more? Yeah. You're in? Yeah, I'm You're definitely involved. in and anything <clears throat> that is this pretty. Um, oh, you're so it's, pretty. <laughs> this is <so> pretty. <laughs> uh, it gets gets my vote. You're on for the run, are you? Absolutely. I enjoyed it. I thought the uh, like you say the dynamic between the two of them was quite charming. Yes, I absolutely. really enjoyed it. And I've got to say, I really enjoyed the um, the bits with Miles in the the kind of the schoolyard yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, the yeah. the rumours of why he disappears and everything. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah, know. That's pretty good. I Brilliant. did enjoy that a lot. And how um, long is this this one going on for? Is this designated? This is a five-issue mini-series, right? Um, and then that'll be it, that'll be it. and dusted until Spider-Man Three comes about. Yeah, obviously, which is uh, bound to be in the in the pipeline with the lack well, of ideas that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that nobody has. So. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> Quickly, right. let's buy the website now. <laughs> domain name. <laughs> it's ours. <laughs> um, uh, good stuff. So yeah, for, thoroughly enjoyable. I thought. And thoroughly enjoyed. Definitely worth your pennies there, folks. Absolutely. Um, and um, moving on with the the, the movie segue that well, we use from Spider-Man to War for the Planet of the Apes. Boy, oh boy. So again, there is a apes movie that is either just I think it's come out, out today. or is coming out. even out today. Is it that today or ne this week, I think? A customer told me earlier that he'd seen it yesterday. What? Maybe it was yesterday. Hopefully, hopefully that was not illegally streaming uh, because we are not down with that. Uh, no, we don't do that sort of thing here. 
I'm sure it was uh, legitimately paid I'm, for viewing. Absolutely. You know who you were. Yes. If anybody watches this. Mm. <laughs> <What else? laughs> <laughs> Anywho. Uh, moving swiftly on. So this book takes place um, in between the, the last Apes movie yep. and just before this. It's a little precursor, isn't it? It is indeed. So... Um, I've got to say, I I did enjoy it. Yeah. I am a little bit befuddled by the timing of it. In what way? Well, in the way that it is a mini series. Yeah. A four issue mini. Mm. And they've dropped the first issue of a book that stands between the two movies. I see what you're saying. Just as the movie's coming out. So yeah. they, they haven't given it time to tell the story. Right. Unless they're going to put something. Re in here that's revelatory exactly which i can't really see yeah. them doing yeah um so the timing of it feels a little bit off i think but it would have been better earlier and then do it to time it for the trade maybe to that's hit an interesting today point i hadn't thought of that um well, that's just that's just my two yeah. pence worth mm. um was it a good book it's worth a read, I'd say. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed the art. It's very, I very the gritty. I thought really good, actually. Um, I, it. It's I, I think it's quite clever what they've done with the new Apes movies in that they've they've switched it on its head, haven't they? So that we feel more for the Apes, whereas right. on the original movies, mm. uh, you had the, the the Apes that helped the people, but really you you were you were gunning for the for the Homo sapiens. Yeah, um, but now. Everybody's kind of, yeah, go on, go on, Caesar, go on, get yeah. the apes. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so I think it's quite clever what they've done there. Mm. And I think they do get the apes' voices right here. And yeah. again, you don't really care for the, the people in the book. You, you, you want to yeah. know more about the apes. Mm. Um, mm. Which, for me, uh, it's a clever bit of alcohol. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think the ape characters always seem to be, on the whole, you know, the more sort of sympathetic characters and, and the humans sort of seem to be the more kind of warmongery kind of uh, types um, which is interesting kind of uh, like you say is turn on its head I think you do have to have a little bit of prior knowledge in terms of the uh, the the new Planet of the Apes characters yeah um, to sort of get into this book it does deal with Caesar doesn't it it does so absolutely. you kind of do need to yeah. know who Caesar is and you probably need to know a little bit about the two sort of preceding movies or I assume there's been preceding books from Boom as well there have been and I've always enjoyed the the, the Boom books yeah um, um, they've all been really good but I'm not I've, I'm not so sure that you do need to know that much about it mm. um, I think it's okay. uh, it's a book where you can jump on yeah and it'd be interesting then to see if you who who you feel uh, the protagonist you, you that you want to get for. behind are right. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and um, th there are sympathetic human characters in this. There are, there are. Um, yeah, so there's not masses of um, page space mm. kind of used on them. Yeah, um, but, but they are it's in a, there. They are in there, and it's a it's a really good starting yeah. issue. Mm. I just wish they had come out probably. Six months ago, give us time to get the four, <laughs> really yeah, get the sure juices thing. going and the excitement for the film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the trade hitting today and we could be studio talking about Makes that. Makes sense. Well, maybe they should put you on scheduling. Man with ideas. I'm here. Give me yeah, a call. Yeah, just find Frog Bros. <laughs> yeah, just find. You know, find special. Yeah. <laughs> Ask for special. <laughs> Ask for special. <laughs> <laughs> All right, special. What we got next? Okay, so the next one we are going to have a look at a, uh, a issue two, which is a little bit. It's a bit of a rarity for it the is, uh, for the for the, the snap. The six episode. As a snap. And we're going to revisit a book that we looked at in the very first episode, the long one. Dubbed the long one. The long mm. one. And yes. that was Mr. Howard Chaikin's Divided States of Hysteria. Interesting. How could we not have a quick look well, at this book? Now, since we did the long one, of course, there's been a little bit of uh, controversy. There has uh, indeed. Regarding um, the first issue of uh, of the Divided States. Uh, well, May, can you summarise that for us, special? A little bit? Um, I would say the main controversy came out not just about the the first issue, although that was controversial, and right. uh, people did get up in arms, and the keyboard warriors. 
Ooh. Yeah, got, got their arms out. It's like typing <laughs> got away. Got their little fingers out. <laughs> exactly. Feverishly typing. Uh, and then the uh, the cover for issue four was solicited. Right. Um, Did, which, I haven't seen that. I didn't haven't see that. you? No. Uh, okay. Um, this is where I feel like I'm walking through a minefield. So, okay. Uh, well, tread carefully, sir. I will. There is a uh, the issue four that was solicited originally. Yeah. The artwork for it was a, um, a mutilated brown chap hanging in a street uh, with questionable um, things right. written across him, and that that sounds a little terrifying. It was, and it, it, I mean, <sighs> this is where <laughs> I am afraid to talk. Yeah. Well. It's not you putting it out there, special. I mean, I, I think it's you can express I'm, an opinion. I'm, um, I am very, very hard to offend. Yes. Um, however, I don't want to go around offending people. So, no, quite. Um, and I mean, this is dealing with some really big issues of our time yeah. um, in the transgender, racial yeah. equality, mm. um, just really big things that uh, yes. I'm not sure I'm qualified to, to to talk about, but if I want to put down my ideas, then why shouldn't I? And it's freedom of speech. Absolutely. So I think that Howie Chaikin should be allowed to do this. And yeah. if we're offended, then be offended. But do you really need to start screaming and shouting well, about it? The, you don't have to pick up the book. Is you know, I mean, you, if, if you're offended by the first one, you don't have to read the second. You don't have to keep reading. And there is freedom of expression. Um, and this is obviously Mr. Chaikin's uh, sort of medium of choice. And he's obviously sort of has some fairly strong political opinions, which it is his right to express. Uh, it is, but in the, uh, the, the kind of the prose at the end of this, yeah. um, he's taken, because of all the hoo-ha about everything, mm. I think he's, take, he's taken a dig at the, the left... Yeah. Um, on this one, whereas at the start, well, I th he was almost taking listen, a Listen, I mean, I think, that's funny enough, that's what I was going to say, like, it will, I mean, we can get onto the book in a bit, but just in terms... <laughs> this was only meant to be a <laughs> quick segue. <Jesus. laughs> <laughs> but just in terms, I mean, you can pick up from this book, and I think reading that piece at the left, that I think that you're right in that he was kind of, there's a critique of the, of the, the sort of the right wing in the first kind of book. But there's also, I mean, just this kind of blizzard of non-politically correct kind of imagery and, and wording in these books that I think he's having, he's clearly kind of having a dig at the kind of the politically correct kind of movement in, in the, and here to a certain extent, you know, and it's, it's clearly a swipe at that kind of, um, it's kind of school of thought at the moment that says you can't say certain things, you can't use certain words um, because you, because it's offensive or it's demeaning or it's you know in some way an aggression against a certain. But then, because of, of that, people, the cover for issue four that was mm. first listed, and then Image have pulled it, and yeah. Image had to release a statement right. to apologise for it. Right. Um, whereas. People, Wait. some people are going to be offended by things. Yeah, I think. Well, I personally, think I think they should have had the 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 balls to 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 run with it. Yeah, as a exercise in freedom of speech, and they or, they could put out a proviso that we don't necessarily. This isn't something that image exactly promote or agree with, or but in the interests of yeah. uh, freedom of speech, we are going to let how. Mm. Tell this story, and my well, my, my slight bugbear with this second issue. Yeah, is I don't know if it was that good, and I spent the issue just thinking about the the bigger questions around it. Without yeah. what I do like about it yeah. is still the same from the first issue that I said was the the noise that yeah. comes up the and the, the, the kind of feel of modern life that mm. we we don't have. A lot of clarity and <laughs> noise. Um, you know, there, there, there isn't that much clarity. You've got to sift through all the, the white noise that's going on. Sure, in the world, I think. Sure. The, that nailed. This is what that nailed on for me. The rest of it, I just don't know. Well, I mean, I the, what I took. I was thinking about this last night. I mean, it, it is kind of a book that stays with you. I think, 
Um, and some of those larger questions, I think, if you're of a certain sensibility, kind of do stay on your mind and you do pick over them. And I think, um, I mean, obviously there is a story starting to form within this. And that first kind of issue was just, it seemed like just a, a bulldozer kind of one after the other of, you know, what's the most kind of grotesque kind of imagery and storylines we can throw at people, you know, seemingly just to offend or, mm -hmm. you know, there's obviously some sort of satire there somewhere, but it's, you know, it just, it just seemed not particularly enjoyable, you know, to read. Um, and I think this kind of picks up the mantle, but there is a bit of a story forming there and there is kind of a bit of a, a kind of a team forming and, you, you know, that, that the book does develop the story in, it, in a way. Do you care about the main protagonist? Um, I, I, I actually find it an unpleasant book to read. Okay. Um, because of, maybe it's because of the way that the art's delivered and, and the way the story's delivered. Um, but I didn't, I, I, it's not something that I, I actually would pick up to enjoy. Um, and I think I'm not sure that comic books lend themselves particularly to outright kind of political opinion um, and commentary um, so blatantly thrown out there. And, and the other thing I was thinking is like, who are you trying to convince or whose opinion are you trying to change? Or is it just a commentary? Because I don't think anyone who picks up this book and reads it um, who is of a differing opinion to say what, what Howard Chaikin is, is, is going to be swayed by anything that's in these books. Um, I think anyone who picks up these books and, you know, the, and finds something in them is going to be of that sort of persuasion anyway, and is going to be of that leaning anyway. Uh, and I wonder if there's a more kind of subtle or more interesting way that you can weave in some of those kind of opinions or some of those some of that commentary um, without necessarily sort of subjecting people to this kind of you know wrecking ball approach. I, guess, <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I quite I quite like the sledgehammer <laughs> of it. And um, yeah, I mean it's balls it, out. It, I mean it's, it's good to yeah. elicit strong feelings sometimes yeah. as yeah, well. Yeah. I suppose. And so, reading, um, I actually read through the. Um, Letters at the back as well. I don't know if you read through yeah. those. Man. Like I, I think, yeah, you, and you can see it in the readers that they're, they're you know, that most of the letters that they print in there are kind of right on, you know, with him and sort of. Well, the, his, the, 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 his well they're polarized as well, though, yeah, aren't yeah. they? Um, and well, it's a polarizing it, it, book. Exactly, that is it. It's a, it's a, it's a polarizing book. Mm. I can't say that there's anything in there that offends me, but like I said, yeah. I'm very hard to offend. Yeah. yeah. Um, but what it does is, I suppose it does show as well, it is a piece of social commentary. Yeah. In the, the world that we live in now, mm. there are wonderful, great things out there, but there's also a lot of this white noise and yeah. a lot of very confusing things where yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. a dim northern lad like me gets scared of talking. <laughs> 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 but I think um, it does, one thing it does is it kind of fosters uh, discussion. Um, and that's shown at the letters at the back, and it's shown in you know people sort of us two talking about it for what it's worth. That we've meant to be for much. about thirty <laughs> seconds, and now we've we've the one thing I was wondering is like, there's obviously been a conversation with Image beforehand about where this arc is going or where this story is going. Yeah, and for them to kind of, they've obviously signed off on it. Yep. Um, so to then sort of, I didn't know that story of pulling the cover, but to then pull that cover, like you say, seems a bit pulling back from the brink in a kind of way that Howard Chaikin is saying that you shouldn't do. Absolutely. But, I mean, comic books have history of this, and I think it's because, in a good way, the comic book industry has got half an ear out to the mm. readership, and it can move quite quickly in that way. I mean, I remember the, um, the Batgirl issue when they were doing the Joker variants. Yeah. And um, there was an uh, uproar uh, about uh, Raphael Albuquerque's uh, drawing the, um, right. the smile across her face and she looked petrified and people got up in That's arms strong. about that. But well, well, was it? Because if you look at what the Joker did to her in The Killing Joke and people didn't get up in arms about that. So yeah. I think there's also a bit of the, we all have an opinion and now we have a way that we can just readily express, express that by being a keyboard yeah, sure. warrior and changing sure, sure, things sure. whereas a little while ago image would have printed that and mm. um it wouldn't have been stopped and then would those people would it have 
if you were offended by it, would it really have changed you that much? Just be offended and yeah, write on. your letter of complaint rather than <laughs> the, 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 the tweet yeah, of yeah, complaint yeah. and move on. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. there's not such ground to yeah. That is my two pence. So shall we move on? Let's move on. Worth <laughs> a read though, eh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> get involved. No, it's quite, it's quite, I think it's got to be read. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. It's, uh, yeah, enjoyable. Yes. Okay, so what we got now, Splash? Well, now is another kind of a second one. Yeah. It's the second book on the road to DC's metal event of the summer. Oh, freaking this boom. This is Dark Days, the casting with the shiny, shiny. <laughs> How about that? Um, so this came, we, we also touched on this uh, yes. on, in the second snap. I've been doing my <laughs> research today. Yeah, um, watching these snaps back, isn't <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, this was in the second uh, one of the snap, and it was mm. the Dark Days, The Forge. Yep. Which I absolutely loved. Uh, you were really loved enjoyed it as well. too. Very much so. And this one, I think, is awesome. I am so excited by this whole <laughs> event. Um, I was a little bit worried when picking this up. And mm. the first couple of pages, it was like, oh, is it, is it, are they going to take a misstep? But All by right. the end of the book, I am stoked. I am excited. <laughs> oh, I giddy with uh, nerdy <laughs> delight. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> um, if they keep this up, then it is going to be an absolute modern classic for me. Yeah. Uh, I'm a big fan of the, the DC Universe anyway. Absolutely. So uh, maybe it resonates mm. um, a lot. Um I don't want to go into too much about what happens in here because no. uh, that right would be a, a spoiler other than spoiler. that it looks beautiful, it's written amazingly well. Yeah. Uh, we had a brief talk about it before. We did. You were wondering a little bit if you do need to know quite a bit about the DC yeah, Universe. Yeah, well, it's, it's, yeah, DC Universe, but particularly the, the Snyder Batman run and some of the earlier Batman sort of uh, things. Which everybody should read. Well, quite. Uh, I mean, anyway, I think Snyder's Batman wonderful. is up there with the best. Ab me, absolutely, uh, I think you know, he gets think he, into... Yeah, uh, down to a T. Um, again, but some modern, of the, modern classics. Yeah, some of the, like, like I said, some of the Morrison stuff is weaved in there as well. Yeah. Um, and a lot of stuff, oh, uh, and certain characters that you might need to be aware of. I um, like the way though this this issue, whereas the first issue was a lot about Batman, yeah, um, which is awesome. This issue, Batman's there, and mm. it is a Batman book, but yeah. they're, they're adding meat to the bones of other players. They're fleshing that, it out a bit, aren't that they? people wouldn't necessarily know, and that's really good of these other uh, players that are in there because they mm. are one of them especially i don't want to again name names but one of them who's been introduced a way back and you're it, just it, waiting to see where this exactly guy because, in. because it's not nailed on yet yeah, it's, it's, yeah. They, they 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 tease you with him yeah. and um, but he keeps coming back so you think uh, yeah, what, what was that just a bit of fluff <laughs> but then he comes back yeah. a, a yeah, while yeah. later my only two not complaints but i would say slight Gripes. Gripes. You're not going to give me the Snickers ad again, are you? Yes. How oh, did you get? Dude, just, oh, it's get over it. Just flick the page. No, because <laughs> the pacing of the book is amazing. Oh, and you tight. read the page before, mm. and you can't wait to turn over the page. Yeah, you know and it's then, coming, though, man. Just flick the page over. Come on. No, because I quite like the art on the Snickers ad. <laughs> so I've got to have a quick look. Yeah, you've got to have a quick look at it. But yeah. it's just, stop. Put in <laughs> double page spreads that look like a comic inside a comic as an advert hey, for listen, me. You pay the monies, you get the double page spreads. <laughs> so it dims the rules. And the other bit yeah. is still I have a slight issue with John Romita Jr. Uh, I was gonna um, say, yeah, funnily enough, me. I was going to bring that up because you did mention that previously. Um, I was wondering if you would have a... Uh, a problem with that? Uh, it's, it's it's not necessarily a problem. And I, I was no. thinking about it while I was no. reading it. And he's he's Wonder Woman. I'm perfectly fine with it's just You're fine with Wonder Woman anyway. <laughs> yeah, of right? course. Who isn't? Well, um, he's Batman. I, 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 I you can't I, get with it. I don't feel his Batman. And what is it about his Batman that you don't like, special? I, I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. I think we it. need to expunge uh, this bee in your bonnet. Well, I don't think it's going to be expunged. I no. think it's there. It's there to stay. It's there to stay, and it's something that I've got to get over. Yeah. yeah. You just need to grow up. Well, we all have our, our <laughs> we'll little... Move on. Uh, yeah, I you think know? so. Get over your tastes. 
It's a good book um, though, dude, eh? It is a very, very, and very good And it's shaping book. to be a hell of a, hell of a series. Um, I can't wait for, When's it, for, kick off, for it to When's kick, it kick off. off? Um, next month, we've got to next wait month. till next month, and um, you get a, a glimpse on that last page of the, the big bads coming, Ooh. and um, yeah, I'm super excited, super stoked, and yeah, yeah. Um, bring it on. Stoked is the word. Uh, and again, Greg Capullo on art when oh, it comes oh, out, oh, which come uh, on. Th th come there's on, a son. man who uh, can draw Batman. Absolutely, absolutely. Take some lessons, Mr. Amir Jr. Fam. <laughs> <laughs> Pure <laughs> joke, if ever you were. Uh, if ever if anybody For the record, I liked his artwork. I thought it was all right. Book kissing. <laughs> 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 okay, man, read the forge, read the casting, prepare yourselves absolutely. for the metal. The metal event is coming. It's coming at you. Coming absolutely. At you. Well, there we are. Another long one. Um, taken up by something interesting, but maybe um, we should move a bit faster over these things in future. Yes. Who knows? Well, Who we, cares? We'll say bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, good. We'll be back next week with yep. um, more. some more books, um, and we will continue these heady debates, I'm sure. And we'll bring back issue three of uh, The Divided States when oh, it comes out. Right, we'll have to. see what's happening yeah. in that thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. Um, yeah, cool. So be with us next week. Uh, three more, four more books. Um, yeah, like, subscribe and share. Frog Boss Comics and Books. We love you, folks. Be good. Take care. <laughs>